Hey, no touching. Hey, I'm the only... Just step away from the car, okay? Actually... Look, I don't have time to play games here. We both know you're not gonna buy anything here. Listen, this car... Okay? I don't want to have to get security involved in here, pal. I can give you the number to a guy who sells used cars, so just take it and go. No, that's not why I'm here. I want to test drive this car. <laughs> no way. Doesn't every customer have a right to do test drive here? Only if they have money to pay for damages if something goes wrong. Don't worry about that, okay? I love driving. This is my absolute passion. One scratch and you are done. Where are we? Let's go back, the test drive is over. Wait, I haven't checked everything yet. How big is the glove box? What's the difference to you? Let's go back to the dealership. I want to know if all my stuff will fit in there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Why so surprised? Don't you recognize me? Uh, I'm sorry, can we just go back to the dealership, no. please? Give me your phone and get out of the car. Oh. Please, let, let, let's not overreact. If we go back... Dude, ah. just get out of my car! What? Don't you understand? The car's mine now. I give you three <laughs> seconds. <laughs> well done, boy. Your intuition was dead about me. Take care. It was a joke, okay? Your jokes will be hilarious in prison. I'm calling the cops. And what will you tell them? Dude, just think next time, okay? Don't judge a book by its cover. Wait, wait. So that's why you did it? Were you offended by the way I talked to you? <laughs> and you really think you're gonna get away with this? How about we just shake hands and start our quantas all over again? How old does it sound? Okay. Agreed. But we have a problem here. Because you seriously uh, uh, damaged the car during the test drive. Are you completely and so you are? Because you played a joke on me, I will teach you your place. What is going on out here? Mr. Thompson, everything is under control. So this thief, he looked suspiciously at the car, and then he asked for the test drive. I tried to save the car, but he stole it and smashed it. Call the police. Alan, are you crazy? This is Mr. Walker. This is his car. He bought it yesterday. He came in, he signed the paperwork. We agreed he'd pick her up today. What did I do? Mr. Walker, why didn't you tell me right away? Dude, you didn't let me. You took one look at the color of my skin and jumped to conclusions. And even if I would have been able to get a word in and tell you it is mine, would you have believed me? Mr. Walker, I am sorry. These actions are totally out of line with our values. This is completely unacceptable. You're fired. Sir, I... I don't know how you're gonna pay for these damages, but that's not my problem anymore. Now I'm gonna call the police. It's okay, Mr. Thompson. Do not worry about it. Why don't you just relax and I take care of everything? Uh, I promise. Jonathan, you're a holy man. Thanks. Can you drive? Yeah. Great, get yourself together, you look terrible. I hate driving, and you and I have some urgent business. But... 
Why, why are you doing this? You can do whatever you want to me at this point. See, there's no satisfaction in revenge, okay? You let your head recloud your judgment, almost lost your job and left yourself with nothing. Eventually, you will blame me for this. But you had to grow and grow and just remember, hatred always breeds more hatred, okay? That's why I do it differently. You are a racist and <laughs> that's a fact. You tried to humiliate me because of the color of my skin, but I'm not gonna make it worse. I'm so ashamed with my behavior. I did a terrible thing. Please excuse me. I forgive you. Racism and hatred are bad habits and you need to let them go. See, this letter right here. <laughs> this is the only thing left from a bad habit. Now, let's get this baby fixed and go to the body shop. Okay. <laughs>